Ah, wonderful. We've discovered Poland. It means immediately we can attack them. And that has triggered a bunch of revolts. Like, huge. Okay, we need to go for full cavalry. That's how we win. Let me introduce you to my good friend, Attila. Specifically, Attila the Hun. For those of you who don't know, the Huns came through, ravaged a lot of things, and then died out, like, what, 100 years later. Today, we're going to try and pursue... Well, the start of that, provided my camera focuses. So yeah, today we're going to pursue the start of that. Uh, we have a custom mission tree, which is always nice. So we're going to go ahead and trigger this. Uh, Huns in Wallachia, Huns in controlling southern Ruthenia. That's all the stuff we can do for now. So that does give us a bunch of claims, uh, generally west, including attacking the Byzantines who are allied to the Western Romans. That might be a little bit tricky. It is the migration age. So that means that we should get some nice little buffs. I am tempted to just go full Tengri. You know what? We're going to we're gonna go for it. We're going to go like militant Tengriism. So anti-Christian edict. And we're going to get black shamanism as well. We're going to grab ourselves the rule policy to inspire the soldiers. So if you do load up as the Huns, um, be wary that you won't be able to see anything. I've used console commands to make sure I can see uh, these territories. Otherwise, they'd be terra incognita and this would be a horrible, horrible video. All right, we're going to go ahead and rival West Rome and Ruron. Whoever they are. I don't know who Ruron are. Who are Ruron? Ah, like a northern Chinese carnate. Okay, let's just start out with a fleet. That's nice. Uh, we start out in a slight deficit. Otherwise, we've got an inspiring leader. He's a 555. Pretty good, if you ask me. Um, honestly, I think we just go for the big boy first. I think we go for the Byzantines. Could consolidate our holdings around here. But way into the Balkans sounds pretty good. And we get permanent claims on Byzantium. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and, and raise stuff. And see if we can get a better mill tech. Because they actually have better mill tech than we do. But mill power in this game is the equivalent of manpower. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Also, we're going to have rebels. Because, of course, we are. Can we have full tech cavalry armies, do you think? Oh, oh we can. Now, that could be fun. 632 as our air, not bad. And in instant stack wipe to get things going. We just have ourselves a vassal here. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, we're going to start with declaring war on the Venity. West Rome seems to be collapsing. This is good. Did they get attacked by Bavaria? They did, which means the Byzantines are going to start marching over there. And they're going to be suffering all of the horrible things that I suffered. If you recall in the uh, West Rome series where I tried to form Rome as West Rome. I, I say tried to, I did. <laughs> Starting as a full promise minor, which is still like one of the hardest things I did in EU4. That was horrible. Yeah, everyone's, gonna be, everyone's going after Rome now. It will trigger their migration age stuff. So this is what Rome looks like now. Take a picture. It's not going to look like that in a little bit. In the meantime, we are going to comfortably conquer everything here. Uh, and that gives us claims on more of Poland. The issue is I can't see more of Poland. Can we raise? Surely we can raise, right? We can. It's just everything's so low quality. Although it looks like West Rome's actually doing a good job of fighting off the, the hordes. They they might put me to shame here. So if it gives me opportunity to fight this lot, then I'm okay with it. Looting foreign cities actually is a major part of our income right now. I can't actually see this province, which is very frustrating, considering they're in it. See, they keep on running past it, but I can't run through it. They are about to have copious amounts of rebels. I do need to bear that in mind. All right, Rugen's turned up to play. And off they go, disappearing into Terra Incognita. <laughs> you can see why at the start of the game I wanted to have all of this uh, Terra Incognita stuff discovered. The Romans have actually conquered things. Interesting. Okay, so West Rome actually standing up to the barbarians and winning. Can't actually raise any of this stuff. Okay, West Rome's still very much willing to come in, which sucks. It does limit my expansion somewhat. All right, that's another one fully annexed. Anything here I can raise at all. Oh, there's one province. Crack out itself. Excellent. Everything else, no. Ah, wonderful. We've discovered Poland. Means immediately we can attack them. And that has triggered a bunch of revolts. Damn, the Romans have conquered. <laughs> they keep on conquering more. They're, no, they're meant to collapse. Am I able to attack the Romans? I don't think I can. To be fair, if you ally the Byzantines, anything is possible. Have they actually gotten, they've gotten out of every single war. That is insane. Oh my God. They're just going to keep growing, aren't they? I might have to do something about this. It's been fun conquering up here though, but I need something I can actually raise. A bunch of permanent claims provided I have one stability and manpower of 10k. How much can I slack them for right now? Damn, I can slack them for a lot. One stability I can get quite easily. And that should be enough. Flame Carpathia. Gives me a load of claims around here. Brilliant. I think I already had most of that stuff anyway. Convert to Arianism or Chalcedonianism. No. Time for Tengri. Enforce our <laughs> heritage. We don't have any missionaries. Okay, well that's that's a fun thing to discover. Early admin ideas. What does that give me? Admin cost, relations, stability, that sort of stuff. Early admin ideas, you say? You mean early religious ideas, right? I'm just gonna <laughs> go ahead and do that. All right. I reckon we attack the Byzantines. Travel conquest. Jesus. Got a lot of allies. We're outnumbered five to one. Well, no time like the present. Uh, here come the Byzantines. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get a decent general. We got a 0-4. Okay, so we have a 0-4 and a 1-4. That's the best we're going to do for now. Just need to be winning battles. That's the key part. That's 20,000 troops. See if we can beat that. Should we stack properly? Okay, 7,000. He's locked in. Wait a couple of days, come in for the second lot. So we stack properly. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to be real careful about this. Let's get the 1-4 going. He's locked in. That, see now that, that was big. 
Okay, so cavalry, what are the pip differences? Like, huge. Okay, we need to go for full cavalry. That's how we win. Yeah, look at that. Okay, right. We need to go, like, damn it, full cavalry. I think that's the play. But the key part is we're pulling them off the, the Roman front. I've right, built a bunch more cavalry, and I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of infantry here. Yeah. Okay, so we have our two combat stacks. And then this guy's just in reserve. Uh, I just need to keep nipping at him. Oh, the woods. We need to only fight in grasslands. That's also woods. Uh, that's a decent fight. Yeah, we'll take that. Jesus Christ, the cavalry is so good. All right, I had to get rid of my advisor because he was way too costly. Okay, that's woods. Pull out the woods. No, thank you. Okay, get out of that. It's like ridiculously painful. I need to be getting more stack wipes than this. Might just run around in one big cavalry stack at this point. How much manpower do we have? Mm, not enough. I think they took out my rebels. It's very kind of them. Okay, that is mountains. I would genuinely rather not fight in the mountains. All right, nice little stack right in the mountains there. That's grasslands. Okay, let's get our morale back. Let's not play this too dumb. Pull out a little bit. What's attacking me? Okay, then would rather not fight this. We'd have to get a stack wipe, but will. Okay, 8,000 Hunnic tribes over there. Anything? Oh, nip in here. Oh, is he reinforcing that? I think he is. I got 28%. I think we've got max from battles. Yeah, now we just need to, like, unoccupy our provinces. So I'm going to spread out into slightly less meaningful stacks. And we're stacking the Romans. Yep. Well, boys, I'm giving you a chance. That's all you're getting. That's a three-star general. Didn't know he was just going to whip out Belisarius. Ooh, that'd be a fun campaign, huh? Recreating the conquest of Belisarius. Pull back a little bit. Let's keep converting people to Tengri. I think I do need to chase down these guys. I'm going to go for my capital. Now, I do need to do something important here. Okay, so it's going to cost me 15 arm attrition, but its general cost is minus 25%. And again, that's how we secure our manpower. So... Definitely a good little trade-off there. Way too big of a front to manage, man. Grab ourselves a general and start sieging. I'd rather not siege, but if I have to, I will. This may be painful hit. I just don't want to get stack wiped. And that's exactly what happened. We'll take a victory. I think I'm going to leave. I should probably go deal with those rebels. Yeah, I'm going to have to go deal with the rebels in the east, if possible. It'd be great to deal with these ones as well. Okay, the troop counts are looking slightly better. Uh, West Rome is getting taken out, which is sort of the main aim here. I need to split up East and West Rome to give the West Romans a chance to die so I don't have to deal with their troops. Okay, we've breached the walls. Lovely. Real problems don't feel that bad right now. That could very well change, and I assume it will. I might try and push for his capital here. It could be very bold. Okay, good. We get a nice little bit of, uh, sacking going on. Helps with our war exhaustion. Are you going to come over here, Ostrogoths? You, do you have cores over here? No? Stay over there? Nice. Not sure whether... Oh, I think they're starting to lose ground now. I think also all of the uh, Byzantine troops are heading over there. Which gives us a little bit of an opportunity to sort of carpet siege a bit. West Romans might even come out anytime soon. He has 15 galleys. We have four. We should probably build a fleet. It's not really very Hunnic of us, is it? I suppose we've got to be better than the Huns. Byzantines are closing up over here with... 13,000 troops with a three-star general. Don't really want to fight that. I will fight them in the mountains if I have to. I'd rather not, but these must. Okay, they're sieging down that fort. I don't really want to let that fort fall. So let's wait for everyone to finish up their current sieges. And let's gather everyone up apart from the siege stack on Constantinople. Some people appear to be stuck. Attila giving us land leader shot plus one. You absolute legend. As well as like a... The morale of army stuff. That's that's gold. I'm not stacking this properly. That's fine. Let's ruin this guy's day. I should be able to get a stack whip off with all this cavalry. Despite the mountains and the hills and everything. Nice. Alright, you want to you want peace deal? Sure. I'm going to one myself pretty soon. Siege of Constantinople. There we go. I've sacked it. Oh, do the Gastonians want a piece out as well? Ah, they're still alive and kicking. West Rome might do soon. Okay, I need to keep hold of this admin power because we're about to take a bunch of territory. We're just about to run out of money. Uh, way into the Balkans. So we need to take sort of this region here. These, like, five. I want to take all of your money because that's going to fund future conquests. And what will that give us claims on so I can preemptively get it? Claims on Silistria, Bulgaria, and Thrace. Basically, just take a bunch of land. I kind of want to take Constantinople just because the fort is kind of a bit of an iffy one to take. But if I don't, I don't have to take it this time around. Do I go for the 100%? I feel like I could go for the 100%. I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh, God, my capital. Yeah, Rom, I really think you should be focusing on yourself right now, man. You are close to white piecing. Not too far away. He's thinking about it. All right, West Rome is low. That means they'll piece out. White piece, excellent. That gives us enough war score to play with. There you go. That should be enough for the 100%, right? Let's just take Constantinople. Why not? Yeah, that looks good to me. I mean, we get a coalition of just Byzantine, <laughs> the Byzantines. Uh, I think, actually, do I need to take that? I really don't want to mess this one up. Way into the Balkans. Yeah, I need Belgradion. Okay, as much as I'd love to take Constantinople, doesn't look feasible, does it? That looks good, though. I'm gonna have to take some forts later, but that looks good to me. Excellent. Way into the Balkans. Now, if we own this, we get more Horde Unity and Prestige, and now we just need to constantly conquer them. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna go after the Caucasus. We can embrace an institution. Organized religion. I don't really think we need organized. What we do need to do is uh, burn. Such low development in all these provinces, anyway. All right, well, that was a nice little uh, foray. The beautiful thing is, uh, that was a white piece. <laughs> With West Rome, so we should be able to attack them again soon. But I think they're kind of done. The Saxons are murdering them. 
think. And so it's just the Saxons right now. So that's they're going to get their lion's share. I think the rebel problems aren't even that bad since we're up to three stability. Uh, we have a fort, not really necessary. I think we just start heading out over here into the Caucasus because there's a mission tree down here. Okay, polish the mission. That's we need to go after this lot. That seems reasonable. But then there's also the North Caucasus region where I just need to do that, and then I can attack the Sassanids technically. I don't know. I kind of want to go somewhat historical. Before we do that, though, I do need some more of the boys. Look at these guys. They don't even have they got one cavalry unit. <laughs> just death. Okay, I really need, need to learn the value of cavalry in the extended timeline mod because this is kind of ridiculous. I'm just stack wiping everything. Alright, murder you. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to finish the sentence. That's actually kind of rude. Do I have claims here? Oh, I do. Oh, that sucks. It sucks to be you. Yeah, thanks for that. Appreciate it, mate. Ration rebels. Alright, let's go deal with that. Saxony's going to be an absolute unit. Look at that. They've taken parts of actual Italy. The Byzantines are trying to expand into the Banu Nadir. Yes, this is the, the right time to run away from your borders and go south, huh? When's our truce up? Right, I am very tempted to take Thuringia as a vassal. I can't, they're too big. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll just take your money for the, your capital, <laughs> just to be vindictive. Yeah, Saxony's a bit of a big dog now. I think they might be... Yeah, they're, they're bigger than I am. Well, they have more institutions than I have. Do, do people just not care about me in, in coalition wise no i'm kind of immune interesting ah here we go polish submission germania under our yoke oh my god actual things here for me to to burn which is nice a welcome i mean it's the only reason real reason you play the huns huh to burn things so when people don't have enough money for me to steal and burn it kind of makes everything pointless our religious unity is going to start taking a massive hit pretty soon i say pretty soon as if it hasn't already what is that there's a really cool religion around here zamolexist What's that? Keep on forgetting to convert. Thing. Might even get a ruler policy. Recruit missionaries. Because that'll give me another missionary, right? Yeah, let's do that. Fighting the Romans would give us a chance to reset our timer with the Byzantines. But that involves actually taking the Byzantine capital. Yeah, they beat Banner and Adir. Wait. It's not a gold mine. It is. Why didn't I take the gold mine? Oh, that's, that's done with me. Okay, we're only losing five a month. Okay, we dominate the Kievan trade node. So if I can dominate the Crimean one. Who else is in Crimea? It's just me. For some reason, the Byzantines wield more than I do. They have ships or something? Uh, no, they just are better at this sort of stuff. My trade power is bad because I'm collecting from trade. Okay, right. If I shift my trade node to this one and I take out, like, guys in the Caucasus, that should probably help our situation. Also, this fort's going to do nothing for me. Revast the Sassanids. That's annoying. I'll go to Matrega, going to Kaban. Thank you very much. God damn it. <laughs> oh, why did I miss him? What the hell is this? Oh, there's my Physites. There's a council. <laughs> People are switching out religions. Did I want to make galleys? I don't know. I'm tempted to just not. Because I can go either side, right? It's not It's not too much of an issue for me. Saxony not giving up their homelands is kind of strange. Because usually, if you conquer parts of Rome, you then have to give up your homelands. But Saxony just didn't do that. They just decided that they would both keep their homelands and also take out Rome. And become uh, no, the number sixth great power in the world. So yeah, the idea is to create... To make... Go oh, I need to take out Gothia. I thought they were just mine because they had the same color as me. All right, let's let's go do that. That makes a lot of sense. All right, let's go stand over here. We are con mass converting people to Tengri. This is great. All right, let's take this area. Uh, anything worth burning? Not really. Kind of just poor land. Like I said, it's just to try and get some more trade companies in this area. And let's get rid of this fort. Oh, we also get a thing. Northern Caucasus. Yearly tax income plus two and trade efficiency plus five. Sure. Excellent. All right, let's go to war with you. Ooh. That's actually quite a few troops. Why did you do that? <laughs> so, by the way, I do just have 20,000 men chilling in the west. Like, it's not exactly the, the, the most difficult of situations to be in. Right, do I try and reset the truce time or do I just see it out? That's mountains. That's painful. This is actually quite a valuable province over here. So there we go. That's our trade node secured. Yeah. So the general idea is that I can then I'll add all this stuff to trade companies. Should have basically dominant control. Iberia has some, but they're going to get annexed soon. Pretty sure I burned it and it dropped it down from uh, level 2 to level 1. So that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, oh well. We'll move our trading port over here. Here's the plan. We make 6.17 ducats out of trade, right? We're going to move our main trade port here. Transfer trade from Astrakhan into Crimea. Right, let's help our trade situation. What else we got down here? Yearly income, sure. And we can convert to Nestorianism. I'm not... I, look, no. <laughs> Alright, let's do ye old spam out a bunch of guys and then slacken okay we've got a couple of sixes that's good uh three siege okay, no 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 oh a three six he's probably our best shot and he's got two in siege as well and this guy's a one four with three in siege okay excellent brilliant so we got some excellent generals i think I, you know what i think we do reset the truce timer we've got a three siege guy i'll help out uh i do want to spit out some more cavalry in place of my regular troops because we're making money we shouldn't be making money all right now we're only losing like a duck a month and we have ridiculously overpowered troops all right let's get oh, just let me have my fun please 
All right. Oh, we got. I've uh, got these three thousand troops. Okay, bring, bring them over here. Uh, and as part of my strategy to never fight rebels, I'm just gonna raise autonomy everywhere. Yeah, if I can get away with not fighting rebels, I'd rather not, even if it costs me a couple of ducats a month, because we lose manpower, and that's the key part there. Uh, all right. I think we just reset this truce timer. Choice priority. Nip in, grab Constantinople. Wait for them to do something stupid, like march into my territory. The West Romans are quite literally frozen with shock. Honestly, if you're the Sassanids right now, you got to be doing something. Oh, I see. That's where you went. Interesting. Have you met my friend, uh, Six Shock? You have now. Oh no, he's retreating across the strait. <laughs> what a mistake. Okay, do not let your capital fall late, please. That would be bad. Okay, he left. This is a stack wipe as well. That's actually more troops than I have. Mm. Right, we have the capital, but he does have 40,000 troops. And I've already, like, been heavily defeated by them once. Uh, I don't really want to do that again. So I might have to wait for my other troops to turn up. Unless I can get them out now. They just want a white piece. And we have 12% against them. And uh, negative four, I need a bit more. If I can knock their war exhaustion down a little bit, that might do it. That might do it. Negative three still. Long and short of it is I can't let my capital fall. Please be Byzantine troops in there. They are excellent. I don't know what the 22k is. I really don't, I don't know what they're doing. I really wish I could tell you. Panic tribes in Azov. Wonderful. Eh, sure, I'll go fight them. Oh, uh, that's not good. Uh, okay, um, I'm sort of getting destroyed now. <laughs> it's not like dire or anything. It's just really, really frustrating. Uh, do you have high maneuver or something? Yeah, you got six maneuver. I'm not catching you, am I? Okay, that's that's a lot of rebels up north I should probably be dealing with and I completely forgot about. That sh should be a big stack wipe there. <sighs> okay, right. Now we can uh, have a bit of fun. By that, I mean, let's go deal with our rebels first. <laughs> I did want to withdraw from the bank of the Byzantines, but I, I thought it would be more prudent to survive and just go after them on their own later this i don't understand this roman stack they're just kind of chilling like the ai isn't bugged because they're still like marching around doing other stuff like over here but that just one stack it just isn't moving and i really don't know why tried reloading it just they just don't want to do anything i'm gonna miss my little vassal he's done well do enjoy getting stack wiped god damn this has been a painful this has been so much harder than the first one um I, the byzantines came out really in full force this time around also losing cavalry is just painful okay now I need to restart my game so I can purchase the ability because, well, let me show you what happens when I click on this. Welcome to Audacity, ladies and gentlemen. So I need to turn on my, uh, turn off my graphics mod, then do the stuff and then turn them back on again. I don't know how you guys would feel about me potentially playing a, uh, a small tribe in like Britannia and then building it up to be, no, it's not quite tall, but it's like the focus is on internal development and stability versus just trying to conquer everything in sight. So that would be things like building roads everywhere, getting buildings, getting institutions, trying to like slowly develop everything, trying to make it like a little utopia. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I don't know, it's, it's kind of playing tool, but if you play it in like an extended timeline mode or something like that, it, it feels more like a, a, an epic journey than like a waste of time, if that makes sense. Plus the game runs a lot faster. Right, <laughs> now that debacle's done. Let's get back to conquering. You're gonna move now? Nope, there's the integration of our loyal vassal. Right, I need a plains province, like Krakow. To be honest, I'm kind of pleased that 22k is sitting there. I've had enough uh, surprises with the Byzantines marching on my capital and stack wiping me a couple of times. But to be fair, they only stack like small stacks, but still, you know what I mean. Garmantia. Where's Garmantia? Did you declare war on? North Africa. There's a Gassanid. Okay, sure, in charge. Fine. And what about you, Theodosian? I really need to formalize my uh, get a structure going. There we go. We're taking a fort. I'm going to go take Rome. Oh, there's a lot of forts to get through before then. Oh, well. We'll get there one day. No! Attila! Oh. Who have we got instead? Ulden, who has ship durability. What? <laughs> Wait, we've, the only time we've used a ship is to bait out the uh, the stack wipe. I don't know why why that's a thing. And lose one stability. This is not a great start to this guy's rule, I'm not gonna lie. Saxony hates me, so he's not gonna give me military access. And I'm pretty sure that he has Rome locked off. Oh no, it's just a fort. Okay. Huh. Siege some more then, boys. Maori, you're in North Africa. Why are you here? My friend. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> You're Moroccan. <laughs> Leave. Okay, I'm, I'm in no mood to get stack wiped. Even a thousand men, so I'm going to retreat a little bit. Okay, that was kind of close. And we got some tribes. <laughs> I think I am actually locked off from Rome. There's another fort here, isn't there? Oh, for God's sake. Where is your capital? Is, your capital is actually Rome. Okay, interesting. I just don't want to activate this, like, 20k down here. How many Huns are that? That's a lot of Huns. All right, it's a, it's that time again, boys. Bit of an inefficient slacking, but oh well. 6-4. No, no. Nope. Or a four siege. Yeah, and fired. Our standards are almost impossibly high. In fact, I'm gonna send you out east. I don't really need everyone out there. It's the whole like migration raid is just it's just big boy Saxony. Like there's no one else. But I mean, it is getting it again from the Byzantines. Oh right, I need to do the ruler policies. Uh surely not. Surely. Oh my god, there is. It's in Firenze, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Where are the Huns over here? I think they're all dead. I'd rather this was flatlands. I just want Rome so badly. <laughs> What's this war been going on? Went for the guaranteed stack quite there. The truth of the Byzantines is over. Like, <laughs> we could be fighting them right now. Okay, this could trigger the 22k, so we're not going to touch anything. Ooh, that's that. That's that war exhaustion. 
Call for peace. There we go. Okay, we can actually finally march on Rome. I'm even going to send my fleet around. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, they have 14 galleys. Let's not do that. <laughs> Just ruin the Romans' day. Like, I, I've won this war. Uh, what do I even want from this? I need claims in Slovakia. Consolidate our new home. And then I need to expel the Romans. So just take... Generally, just take these regions. Ah, oh, I've got to fight the Saxons. Into Italy, Attila's desire, North Gallian territory, and in invade the Belgics. That's the plan. Where are you going? You have six maneuver. You got three maneuver. God. Sack of Rome. Right, we've sacked Rome, and with that, we can bounce. Okay, we want to take these three provinces. I want to get you to another alliance with the Byzantines, because I don't want to have to fight them again. Uh, what else do I want? Slovakia, and then... That's Germania. Expel Romans, so just this general territory. Oh, also the Northern Balkans. Ooh, 10 years of discipline? Yeah, okay, I'll focus on that. That gives me... Mm, I don't have to fight the Osrogoths. Uh, kind of want a snake to the forts, and then I don't have to deal with them anymore. We don't want to be fighting in the mountains anyway. Now, with that having been done, let's go murder the Byzantines. Oh, dude, the Huns are looking good. I do appreciate that there are, like, little mission trees like this, like, dotted throughout, not just in, you know, really obvious ones. Like, for example, Soisong has a, uh, a mission tree, um, which is quite cool. Or, like, the Caliphate did. I wonder who else has, like, custom mission trees. Right, let's put ourselves off into different armies. Also, I think trade companies are the way to go. Buying down my war resources to zero. Gonna do that. Oh, and I get another merchant. Uh, let's go... Collecting Master Khan, maybe? Whoa, that's 17 trade? How much do you earn? 25 ducats? Okay, well, that's about to change. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take that. Oh, 151 is our... Uh, is it, though? All right, so we're fighting the Markomani, who I don't believe pose too much of a threat. Let's go ahead and murder the Byzantine. Oh, they're gonna do that whole thing where they go around the back, aren't they? That old chestnut. I see you found my fleet. But fortunately, we have ship durability. That did not help us in the slightest. <laughs> now he's got an army that's just sort of sitting there. Why is that happening? All right, can we go and murder the Markomani? That would be ideal. It's a convenient place for you to spawn in. Thank you. Defending against... Oh, attacking against Galicia. You, you want to expand? All right, I've got to race up and try to deal with our capital being sieged. Last time I did this, I got stack wiped. So I don't know how else is going to go. Damn. That hunting discipline <laughs> holding out pretty well. Stack wipe as many guys as possible. Not quite a stack wipe, which sucks. What about now? It's in the steps. Yeah, that's where we thrive. It's a dangerous game marching through the steps. Okay, let's send half of you to go and siege and half of you to engage the enemy. Okay, actually, it's not too bad. I just sort of need to clean them up a bit better than I currently can. Oh, I saw that corner of my eye. That sucks. Doesn't help that our main combat stack is up in the northeast. I mean, the Theodosian walls should hold for a little while. That's painful. Panic tribes in Vienna. Okay, right. Well, let's go meet up. We'll deal with the rebels like later, but we have to go and prevent this Byzantine incursion. Do we even have... We do have just about enough taking war school. Right, we've got... Our combat stacks together now. Might be able to descend and stack wipe on Constantinople. It's grasslands. It's a 1 1 2. <laughs> it's a stack wipe though. A 1 1 2. Jesus. All right, let's go send you down to go and siege. And okay, cheers for dealing with the rebels, man. Pre appreciate you. That is hills. I don't want to fight in hills. That's grasslands. Thank you. Ooh, we put up a bit of a stiff resistance there. Every time I look over to the east, <laughs> there's just more troops. All right, we're going to grab uh, a mercenary army to go and deal with that. Maybe like the Grand Company or something. Oh, that's super frustrating. Every time I like, I, I force them out eastwards, they just, they're westwards, they just march and waltz on over here. That's why I probably, probably need a couple of forts around here. Because I mean, I'm, I'm technically winning. But that, uh, that's not like really winning, is it? God, how much manpower does he have? Surely, surely not that much. He's still got 7,000. I've got zero. He's got more manpower than I do. I suppose he does use mercenaries. A fair amount. Uh, sorry, what just happened? I accidentally attacked into the mountains, I assume. Yep, I did. Wonderful. And this little Niki. Let's go and see if we can take out Athens. And this lot here are just going to carpet siege because apparently that's the meta. Thanks for getting in the way, mate. Thanks for letting them get away. No, honestly, I appreciate that. He's <laughs> bastard. He's just a master of the carpet siege of this lot. Actually disgusting how good he is at it. Like, sure, he gets stack wiped, but like, my God, is he causing me such a headache? It's like fighting a different AI. He didn't do this at all in the first war. They were very concentrated. They were very like, oh, standard warfare. It's like they learned. It's kind of like weird. Because I know he's gone out west now. The fact that he's disappeared from the east just means he's gone out west. So I'm about to see a large Byzantine stack down here. What's this? Oh, consolidate a new home. I'm I'll take it. Oh, that or he's duped me and he's about to get some really, really free stack wipes. All right, we can actually start pushing into the Byzantines themselves now. Finally, you know, after a healthy amount of rebellions later, I'll find I'll send my mercenary stack to deal with it. Things I can now descend over the Caucasus, and I'm looking forward to it. To be honest, I don't know where his troops have gone. I hope he's run out. I, I hope they're all dead. I think having a decent navy would have made this war so much easier, like markedly easier. Eighty-five percent. Surely I can get everything I want for eighty-five percent. Key part is, what do I want? Uh, obviously, I like all of the money in the world. Can't even take that much. I'll take a little bit less cash just to get it over and done with. All right, and we've taken Constantinople, the city of the world's desire. And obviously, we are going to raise it. Oh, that's a tasty amount of points here, boys. 
Probably should have taken the forts instead, but I got caught up with the uh, clean borders. Thracian land. And when I take it as a core, I get 30 prestige and 30 horde unity, which to be honest, I've maxed out on both. But still, <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice to know. I also get claims in Greece. Right, lads. Well, I think that's where we'll leave it today. That was uh, the Huns. As you can see, we've nicely thickened out the Huns a little bit. And I think if I were to continue, I'd probably push into Rome. Uh, but I do like the idea of doing that like whole playing tool thing for the first time. It intrigues me. In any case, if you did enjoy, please do let me know in the comments down below. And please do help me out by liking and subscribing. Dude, I've got that down every time now. <laughs> the Rolls-Royce plug. Follow me on Twitter. Do that. <laughs> Just want to vary it each time. All right, boys. See you later. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's it's literally right there.